Understanding, ghost at the feast, an English idiom explained. Hello, everyone, welcome back to our channel. Today, we're diving into a fascinating English phrase, ghost at the feast. This idiom is rich in imagery and meaning, and it's a fantastic example of how English uses vivid metaphors to express complex ideas. So, if you're ready to expand your understanding of English expressions, let's get started. The phrase, ghost at the feast, refers to an unwelcome or uninvited guest whose presence dampens the spirit of an occasion or brings a sense of sadness amidst what should be a joyful event. It's like having a reminder of something negative or sorrowful in a situation that's meant to be happy or celebratory. The ghost here is metaphorical, representing anything that casts a shadow over festivities or good times. This idiom is derived from ancient literature and folklore, where the appearance of a ghost or an uninvited, spectral figure at celebrations was an omen or a reminder of unresolved issues. While its exact origins are difficult to pinpoint, it's clear that the concept taps into universal themes of joy and sorrow, presence and absence. In modern English, ghost at the feast is used both in literary contexts and in everyday conversations. It captures the idea of a pervasive sadness or problem that cannot be ignored, even in moments of happiness. To help you better understand how to use this phrase, Let's look at some examples. 1. Even though it was her wedding day, the absence of her father felt like a ghost at the feast. 2. The recent layoffs were the ghost at the feast during the company's annual party, casting a shadow over the celebrations. These examples show how the phrase can be used to convey the presence of a somber element in otherwise joyful occasions. That wraps up our exploration of the phrase, ghost at the feast. It's a powerful expression that beautifully encapsulates the intersection of happiness and sorrow, reminding us of the complexities of human emotions. We hope this video has been insightful and adds a new phrase to your English vocabulary. If you found this useful, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more content like this. Until next time, Keep learning and expanding your horizons.